Thanks for joining today's session, and uh, we are very happy here to uh, share our, share Japan's uh, view on AI. And uh, here are we today have a very great agenda today. First, we will start with some brief introduction about uh, the Deloitte AI Institution in Japan from Molisa, and then we will, we will have our four main agenda, which will be the uh, the neuroscience analytics, then met the metaverse use cases and uh, probability uh, programming and last the AI uh, governance. And uh, we will end with a brief closing from Sikula-san as well. So from now on, I will just hand over to the to Molly-san. Uh, Molly-san, kore kara kamen onegai shimasu. Okay, so uh, uh, hello everyone and uh, good morning from Japan. So uh, I'm uh, Masaya Mori, a partner of uh, Deloitte Consult in Japan, the leader of uh, emerging technologies across uh, Asia Pacific in uh, Deloitte Consulting, and the leader of uh, Deloitte AI Institute of Japan. So thank you very much for uh, watching the Global Deloitte AI Institute 24 hour AI conference today. So during this time slot, our AI expert from Deloitte AI Institute of Japan would like to introduce stimulating uh, cutting edge tech topics so related to AI. So we also hope to provide you with knowledge and insights on how companies can strategically utilize AI while managing its risks in practice. So thank you for joining us. Deloitte AI Institute is a cross-functional network of AI professionals so within the Deloitte Thomas Group. In Japan. So Deloitte Thomas Group has five main businesses, so including audit and assurance, risk advisory, consulting, financial advisory, and the tax and the legal services, each of which has its own AI professional team. So the AI professionals at Deloitte work together to create the Deloitte AI brand, generating to do value offerings and improve capabilities through practical research and development activity. So globally, so over 6,000 AI professionals are active, while in Japan, nearly 400 AI experts are actively engaged in the Deloitte AI Institute network. So there are three pillars of a Deloitte AI Institute in Japan. So the first one is to establish a vision for how AI will lead the future. Currently, AI, especially generative AI, is dramatically changing human intellectual and creative production activities. However, it's easy to become too obsessed with AI's amazing performance and forget important values in the building a better society. So Deloitte AI Institute has a human-centric AI vision in mind, focusing on how to foster a better tomorrow with AI and build trustworthy AI in society. The second pillar is to make a value proposition through ecosystem formation. So for example, partnerships with NVIDIA, a tech giant in the AI era, and collaboration with Japan Deep Learning Association, or JDLA, which is the largest AI organization in Japan, are uh, at the center of constructing new value. So be a collaborative activities with various universities, vendors, startups, and other partners. The third pillar is to strengthen the Deloitte Group's overall AI capability. So this includes institute came a talent building program such as the AI fluency and the deploying a, a platform called Cortex AI, which consolidates Deloitte's knowledge. So Deloitte AI Institute has formed a relationship with top figures who are leading the AI field. The for example, they have had uh, dialogues with Andrew Yen, a leading figure in AI and a professor at the Stanford University. So we went with uh, Jeffrey Hinton, a professor at the University of Toronto in Canada, and the dialogues with Professor Yutaka Matsuo of the University of Tokyo in Japan. Through these engagements, so Deloitte AI Institute 
share vision for the future with AI thought leaders. The influence of AI has become increasingly significant in forging a better economy and a society. According to future prediction from ARC Investment in uh, 2022, the size of the non-innovation, innovative uh, equity capitalization, so which represent traditional industries, is expected to reach $126 trillion in 2030. So growing at a CAGR of 3% from its size of $94 trillion in 2020. However, the actual growth rate may not be as impressive when compared to other markets. For instance, the AI market is predicted to grow at a CAGR of 26% from $10 trillion in 2020 to $108 trillion in 2030, which will rival the size of the traditional industries. Similarly, battery technology and blockchain will grow at an even higher CAGR, so becoming a significant market by 2030. Therefore, traditional industries are expected to shrink substantially in relative terms by 2030 if they fail to incorporate emerging technologies, so like AI battery technology, a blockchain, and so on. Furthermore, this prediction was made before the current boom in generative AI. The prediction can now be revised to anticipate even more dramatic growth. And how companies can strategically leverage AI will become a critical issue for them. However, when looking at the Japanese industry, so many companies are not utilizing the AI effectively. So this is an excerpt uh, from a report released by Deloitte AI Institute based on our survey in 2021. The survey uh, involved 2,875 companies globally with around 110 of them being Japanese companies. The companies were classified into four quadrants by the number of AI applications deployed and the resulting accomplishment. As shown on this slide, 43% of Japanese companies were classified as a starter, so meaning they have a low number of deployed AIs and has generated few achievements. In contrast, 28% of global average companies were classified as transformers. So meaning they have a high number of deployed AI applications and has generated great achievements. In light of utilizing AI, Japan, Japanese companies are lagging behind the global average. Therefore, it is crucial for Japanese companies to transform into transformers to catch up with the rest of the world in terms of business growth by AI. Moreover, not only in light of utilizing AI, but also in light of AI risks, Japanese companies are much behind the global average. The survey revealed that Japanese companies are slow in responding to AI risks, such as cyber securities, vulnerabilities, and new regulations or regulatory changes. Therefore, achieving both strategic utilization of AI and AI governance simultaneously is an important issue for Japanese companies. Deloitte AI Institute aims to leverage the network of Deloitte's cross business uh, function and uh, cross business AI practitioners to support this issue, help client success, and realize the future where trusted AI make cooperative effort with people. Now, the experts from Deloitte AI Institute of Japan will present various AI topics. As seen in this slide, AI is related to various advanced technologies, such as cloud, 5G, AR, VR, simulation technologies to realize the metaverse and the digital twins. AI also co-works with quantum computing, blockchain, cryptocurrency, and NFT. So, well, 
introduce topics on the new applications and control of AI technologies. So neuroscience, metaverse, probabilistic programming, and AI governance. So we hope that this presentation will provide the insight into the utilization of governance of AI. So thank you very much. I'll hand over the mic to Fukushima. Uh, uh, so thank you very much. お疲れ様でした。えっと、ここでは実は1個あの質問を受け取っておりまして、えっと、NVI、えっと、ですね。パートナーシップを結べているところについて何かえっと、実際やっているプロジェクトがあるかどうかをご紹介してほしいという質問